Hi everybody, welcome to our community talk show. I'm your host, Julie Yip. Today I'm here with my co-host, Tina Nguyen, and we have a very special guest with us, Dr. Saba Torabian. She is from I Can Autism and also an adjunct professor from um, San Jose State University. Today we're gonna do a bilingual show. I will be speaking in Vietnamese and my co-host Tina will also be uh, translating in Vietnamese so our a API or Vietnamese community can access the information and resources. Kính thưa quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV, Julie Yip có mặt với um, chị Tina Nguyễn hôm nay tại um, Little Saigon TV cho chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội. Hôm nay chúng tôi có một cái người khách rất quen, rất rất quý cho uh, autism community đó là Dr. Saba Torabian. Dr. Saba Torabian là một giáo viên của San Jose um, State University, cũng là người founder and CEO của I Can Autism. Welcome to the show, um, Dr. C Dr. Torabian. How are you? Hello. How are you? We are doing so well. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. I am here with um, with um, Tina Nguyen. And Tina it, it, it has so many questions to ask you to learn yeah. about what you do in the autism community, but specifically to also learn about um, you know, who Feta and Mu is. Hello, Dr. Saba. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to our show today. And thank you for sharing the information with our Vietnamese community. Uh, kính thưa quý vị, Dr. Saba đã có mặt uh, trong phòng thâu của chúng tôi và đã um, để, rất là cảm ơn Dr. Saba đã đến với uh, với cộng đồng Việt Nam của chúng ta ngày hôm nay uh, để mà uh, chia sẻ những cái tin tức về uh, autism, uh, những cái uh, uh, những cái emergency mà quý vị uh, có thể um, học hỏi được để mà giúp cho gia đình trong cái um, cái cái tình trạng um, khẩn cấp thưa quý vị. Um, thì trước nhất thì um, cho phép Tina nói chuyện uh, bằng tiếng Anh với Dr. Saba để mà hỏi vài câu um, để mình học hỏi thêm Dr. Saba làm uh, cái gì cho công việc của mình. So Dr. Saba, um, uh, first of all, uh, where is your company at? Um, is, your, is your company here in Orange County or uh, where, where is your company at? So let me say hi to, to your audience uh, first. Hello, everybody, and I'm glad to be here today uh, speaking about autism and um, as well as my friendship uh, with uh, Feda Al Malati. Uh, so, uh, Tina, to answer your question, uh, my uh, ABA practice or autism clinic is located in Silicon Valley in Northern California. Um, That's where we provide ABA services uh, for children who are affected by autism. And uh, they are between the ages of two um, all the way to um, their early 20s. Uh, majority of our clients are between the ages of um, five to 15. However, we serve um, clients all the way to their um, early to mid 20s. Well, autism definitely affects so many people and different age groups. So, Dr. Sava, thank you so much for all that you do. I know uh, part of one, one of the main reason I um, invited you to the show today is today actually marks just about a month of um, since we lost Theta and Moo to a tragic house fire. And I know up and down the state of California, uh, there has been a lot of, you know, um, wildfire. And in Orange County, there's wildfire. But one of the challenges that, that we know that a lot of our, our, our autism family is being prepared and understanding what to do in this situation. So um, can you tell us just a little bit briefly about, um, to introduce to the audience, who, um, who Feta and Mu were um, in, in your life? Yes, um, uh, Feta and I were um, close friends. Uh, we were uh, uh, also um, colleagues and co-workers. Uh, she served as board of directors for my company, ICANN, um, where she was helping and advocating um, for children with autism to receive the services that they um, very significantly need. And um, <clears throat> Feda um, and I started our friendship a few years ago uh, when we started uh, um, in um, giving talks in different conferences, um, in ABA conferences. Uh, such as Calabas and Apple Eyes, uh, we uh, were talking in different panel talks and different um, 
you know, um, conferences um, across the nation um, advocating in, in the, for, for the field of autism and for children with autism. Um, some years uh, passed and um, I started ICANN and uh, I invited Fedor to, to join as a board of directors. And um, she studied my company and she realized that what ICANN is doing for the autism population was very important and very significant. And so she decided to join and uh, we were also, both of us, uh, shared a very common um, interest in a way that um, a common, some commonality in our lives, which was having children uh, on the autism spectrum. So I am uh, a mother of uh, two children with autism, and, and Feda was a mother of a son with autism. So we had that uh, commonality, and we got together uh, on... Um, almost um, every other Sunday um, and um, we brought our kids and occasionally we had also some other autism moms uh, joining our group um, Sundays and uh, we would have our own get togethers and sharing ideas and talking about life in general about um, you know raising a child with autism how it feels to raise a child with autism uh, some of the uh, uh, ladies who participated in our gatherings were also uh, uh, single mothers of children with autism. So we had also uh, some um, commonalities in that sense. Um, so Fena and I uh, had a lot of common interests, um, common goals. And um, interestingly enough, uh, the night before her passing um, on uh, September 25th, on the evening of September 25th, uh, Fera was here in my house um, till around 11.30 um, p.m. And uh, her and I were exchanging ideas on how to move forward um, with um, expansion of ICANN and how to help more and more uh, families and children who are affected by autism and how to really overcome some of the obstacles and some of the challenges that we really face in helping this population. And that evening we talked a lot about our future goals and we were supposed to touch base uh, uh, the morning after on Saturday, uh, September 26th. Unfortunately, we never got a chance because that evening, um, that night when Feda left my, left my house at around 11.30 p.m. Um, and she uh, texted me those the pictures that we took that night we took a lot of selfies together and she had them all in her phone and she texted me those pictures at around 11 56 p.m and unfortunately uh based on the news that i heard the day after her house caught on fire at around 1 30 a.m uh, where she and her son with autism unfortunately uh, were trapped inside and uh, passed away so um it was a very tragic loss to our autism community. Julie, as you know, um, Feda was a major advocate for the field of autism. She was the one who really passed the uh, very famous law that we call it SB 946. And SB 946 is the law that passed in the state of California in July of 2012, uh, mandating private insurance companies to cover uh, ABA services and uh, as well as other services such as the speech uh, therapy and occupational therapy for Dr. Saba, autism. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for um, sharing with us and giving us an introduction. Um, as you know, with our show, it's going to be four segment, and I know uh, the time has gone by so quickly. But the first part of our show, we just got completed. We learned a lot about who Dr. Saba is and an introduction about who Mu and, and, and Feta is within her life. So I want to say thank you, uh, Dr. Sabian, for being a part of our show and giving this great introduction. I know we're going to be back after a quick um, you know um, advertisement and and to talk more about um, who they are and what they've done um, in the community yeah, vâng, xin quý vị tiếp tục theo dõi chúng tôi sẽ trở lại sau phần quảng cáo ngắn